here it is, the 2020 Toyota Supra. Probably the most highly anticipated car of the year, because it bears the same name as a 90s legend. This fifth generation model comes back with 335 horsepower and 365 pounds of torque. That power comes from the same 3.0-liter twin-turbo inline-6 in the new Z4 and the M340i. Too bad the 8-speed automatic is the only gearbox available. Fortunately, at just under 3,400 pounds, it doesn't share any of the extra BMW weight. That's pretty light in this day and age. But on top of being one of the most anticipated cars, it's also easily probably one of the most controversial because half of the internet is ready to go to civil war over the way this thing looks. I'll be honest with you though, I wasn't sure myself when I first saw it in the pictures, but after seeing it in person at the New York Auto Show, things did get a little bit better. But after seeing this car in turbulence gray at the track, I changed my mind completely. It looks nice. Even my wife thought it looked more expensive than the $55,000 car that it is. That's assuming no dealer markup, of course. Anyway, big thanks to Petroworks in Lindenhurst, New York, because now we're able to get some seat time with the car. Not a lot, but just enough to do what we do best here, finding out how fast the car is in the real world. So let's see how this new Super stacks up on our 4100 and 60 to 130 fast list. And to do that, we'll head over to Poconos Raceway where our friends at Slipstream Racing were able to hook us up with some quality track time. That means no one's going to jail today. Quick disclaimer though, this Super is not exactly stock because Petroworks wasted no time at all and got a tune and downpipe on the car for this event. It's a conservative tune, and it should be making somewhere around 385 to the tire. But if you buy a Supra, I'm pretty sure you plan on mining the hell out of it anyway. Let's get started. As usual, we'll start from a 30 roll so that we can log both the 4100 and 60 130 in one go. And to be safe, we'll do it in full auto with sport mode activated, which disables the VSC completely. In sport mode, the steering feels lighter than the M340i, but still has pretty good feedback. The paddles are the same, but have a slight delay in response and the suspension feels just a bit stiffer. And as expected, the rest of the interior just screams BMW. Okay, here we go. Now, if the last decades taught us anything, it's that BMW loves to underrate its engines. And since the new Supra is using a BMW engine, I'm expecting the same thing to happen here. The last car that we tested with the B58 was the M340i. And that car makes 382 horsepower, but it dynos at 345, and that sounds about right. This is really interesting because the new Supra is claiming 335 brake horsepower, but car and driver actually got it dynoed at around 340. That's a little too close for comfort, so it sounds like BMW, rather Toyota, didn't detune that engine at all. So basically what you're buying is a lightweight, hardtop Z4 with a Toyota badge. Anyway, let's take a look at those numbers. The 2020 Toyota Super GR with a beta tune and downpipe ran our 40 to 100 test in six seconds flat. That makes it faster than the Tesla Model 3 performance, pre-update of course, and a hell of a lot faster than a stock M340i. It's also just a hair slower than an M850i. Very impressive. But what's more impressive is the 60 to 130 time. And this tuned 2020 Supra did that in 10.11 seconds. That's really fast for something that's barely 50 more horsepower than stock. It's faster than an M2, probably faster than an M3. This thing is almost supercar fast, which is pretty crazy. By the way, the horsepower figures I listed for the Super are just basic conversions with 13% drivetrain loss between wheel and crank. So 385 wheel is roughly 440 horsepower. A little crude, I know, but it's the best that we can do for now. Anyway, what do you guys think of the new Supra? A lot of the folks there that day agreed that it is much better looking in the flesh. Me personally, I think this new car lives up to its legend. Also, don't forget to check out Petroworks. I'll have the link for their website in the description below. They'll be gunning for the title of the fastest Mark V Supra, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully I get a video for you guys. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to watch some of my other stuff. I'm dedicated to producing cinematic car content, 
and doing real world performance tests for all sorts of fast cars. So if that's your jam, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon for new episodes every Thursday. Thanks for watching.